Hi there, I'm Alessi and welcome to my channel. Okay, today I have some tips I want to share with you about getting started at the gym. Okay, firstly I want to point out that it is okay to feel nervous when you first step foot into a gym. You are already outside of your comfort zone when you first sign up to the gym. So of course you're going to be nervous when you first step foot into the gym as well. But don't worry, we all start somewhere and this is just a normal part of starting something new. The more you push through these feelings and work through them, the quicker you're going to gain the confidence to keep going. So never give up. This one I think is super important to address. If I personally had never asked or had help in the gym, then my results would have stunted very quickly. Even my confidence in the gym would have taken a very long time to build. Simply because, like everybody, when they first start out, I didn't actually really have a clue what I was doing. Um, just googling bodybuilding.com. It's actually a very helpful website, but it's fine. Basically with this tip, I want to emphasize that the personal trainers and just the general staff at gyms are always happy to help you. It's our passion, our livelihood, we literally live to help you. So please don't be afraid to ask for our help, we're here to support and help you. So, yeah. For some reason, a lot of ladies out there still think that they cannot lift heavy or they just can't lift the weights in general because it will ruin their feminine shape. Firstly, that statement right there is just so untrue. Us women just do not have the same genetic profile or hormonal profile to support such a statement. Plus, there's actually tons and tons of research to back this up too. So unless you're taking steroids, ladies, you will love the results lifting weights gives you. It's super empowering to lift weights, it's therapeutic, it's inspiring and great for just overall health. So I always opt for ladies to lift heavy and if not, um, build the strength to do so. Okay, this one gets looked over a lot so I thought I'd include it. Well, it's pretty easy to just walk away from like busy areas of the gym or even to not use equipment that other people are using. But this rule applies to pretty much anyone using the gym, so don't be afraid to ask questions like Hi, is it okay if I jump in between your sets? Hey, how many sets do you have left? Can I use it after you? Yes, it's pretty intimidating to ask those sort of questions, but you're going to have to do it at some point, so let's all be friends in the gym and share the equipment, please. And look, nine times out of 10 people will say yes and actually end up being like really good acquaintances with those people that you do ask because then they notice you when you walk in and they say hi to you and it just dominoes along with the confidence building, so. Here's a cute little quote I wanted to include. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Sometimes plateaus in weight gain or loss in endurance or strength is actually a good thing. It mostly means that something in your routine has to change because you've outgrown what you've already been doing. It actually can be motivating to plateau because it means now that you have to work harder, you have to increase your sets, increase your reps, um, the time under tension, whatever it may be, um, it just means you need to work harder now. So you just need to think about it a different way and create that healthy mindset about it. Okay, with this one, there is little to no point in training a specific way because someone told you to if you don't enjoy it. This is to your own detriment because there's actually another little saying I wanted to include and you've, if you uh, follow me on Instagram, you would um, see that I say it all the time, but consistency wins all. Basically, you will not consistently do this program or do this exercise regime that you've got if you do not enjoy it. And that is a fact. 
So for example, if you don't like weight training, then who's to say you can't do boxing or rowing or bike riding or any other sport you can think of. There is almost next to no rules about being fit. As long as you um, are consistent with it and you love doing it, you will get some type of result from what you're doing. Motivation is actually a weird topic to bring up and talk about. A lot of people with motivation think that they have to wait for it to come or they think that it will somehow last forever. And I never have quite understood that. But basically the gym life or any sort of sport comes down to discipline. Don't get me wrong, you will definitely feel some level of motivation to get started in the gym because that's how you basically start, but it will wear off. So to overcome this hurdle, you need to keep reminding yourself why you have started. Keep taking note of how it makes you feel. Does it make you feel strong? Like you like those curves, you like feeling really fit, whatever it may be, that is your motivation and discipline. Another form of motivation that will go in conjunction with um, the previous is to have goals. So with goals, you also need to keep changing them every time you achieve them. And they might actually change more frequently than not because you might think you want to achieve something, but then you start to achieve it and you actually don't. So that is totally fine to keep changing them. As long as they are actually enjoyable and actually achievable, it's a really good way to stay motivated. So they can range anywhere between monthly, three months, six months, a year, whatever, what, literally whatever works. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you learn a few tips to start implementing now. Um, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this soon. See ya!